our uh, our late upload streak is absolutely crushing our sleep schedule. We're going to bed so late and we're waking up so late, but it's fine. It's working. It's working. We we are. Well, this will be day 13 and we haven't missed a beat, which is exciting. But yeah, before before this morning's workout, I need a coffee. I just need some caffeine in my soul to wake me up. So got the mug, gonna make a coffee. And I think I'm just gonna do another like little strength workout. Just to get the body moving on this fine day. guys so today's task lies in we're, we're back in the in the studio room I'm not even gonna flip the camera to show you the other side because it's just such a devastation in here basically since we filmed the makeup declutter not much progress has been made in here however because of landmas giveaways giveaways in general which we definitely always plan to do more in the future and also with depop ongoing depop i love using depop i love using it to kind of rotate my wardrobe and things and currently all of our like shipping gear has been splattered about the <laughs> the house and then we've had half of it like in Dan's editing dwelling like in the office downstairs and it's just been taking up a lot of like his space that can be used otherwise more efficiently and because I'm usually setting up giveaways and whatnot in the studio anyway we actually had a change of heart for this little quarter unit that we had shown and set up in that makeup declutter. This was originally gonna be like the PR section, but honestly, when we get mail and boxes and whatnot, we're always opening it up in the kitchen downstairs and dealing with the garbage down there instead of bringing it up, so that didn't make sense. So today, I'm gonna set this up to be our little shipping corner. And we think that that'll be a much more productive use of this space, and yeah, I'm gonna do this now. I brought everything up. Please don't mind the giveaway <laughs> piles that are still laying about, but I'm gonna be packing some up today because in the last vlog you guys saw, I talked about a closet clear out. Thank you so much to everyone who went onto the Depop and bought some stuff, <laughs> got some new pieces for your closet. I'm gonna be packing them up today as well as all of the giveaways that have happened up until now, I think we're, oh my God, has it only been three? Either way, I think it's six, six boxes. So yeah, I'm gonna be packing up some giveaway stuff and packing up the Depop and showing you guys how I'm gonna set this up. Okay, so here's the little corner tableau here. I have to show you guys what Dan ordered for us. It's so cute. <laughs> here's the stack of what has come in. Basically when it comes to shipping stuff, we were actually originally gonna order some custom boxes and bags for Depop and then have some custom ones for giveaways, but it just it just doesn't make sense to like add more waste into the world on that level because we do get so much PR. Um, actually, just let me show you here. Like this, this is the current stack of boxes that we have and that's just from PR and then my own orders. So I try to reuse as many boxes as I can. And then we also have a stack of bags, which I need to find. A few moments later. I have no idea where our pile has gone, but we also just have these little thin bags and especially for depop like if someone buys a t-shirt or something there's no sense like using an entire box for that so then we do these little flat packs here so we try and reuse as many boxes as we can and dan the brilliant man that he is my sweet darling fiance he's like well let's just try and like personalize it somehow we also recently worked with um sorry this is this is a long tangent but we hired someone to redo branding which i don't know if you guys have noticed like the texts and the colors and things that we've been implementing into the videos but we actually hired someone to make like a branding package for my page and there's definitely gonna be more to come with that 
in the new year but for anyone who's noticed it trickling in uh this is actually what we did like using her design so her name was jess bright and she was awesome and anyway we got a bunch of like logos and some little background designs made and whatnot you guys will see that on the outros of the videos which has been really fun and dan actually he ordered us <laughs> a stamp he got us a stamp this is my a logo and he got this stamp to put on the box, which is like such a cute little touch for anything we're shipping out. And then this is the huge bundle of tissue paper. He actually took our branding. This is our logo and then also the outro like wave design that Jess Bright made for us. And this is the tissue paper. It's so cute. So you just get my little Alana Rama logo all over here. And we're gonna be like wrapping anything up in this tissue paper. He also got our logos made on some stickers so we can use the stickers to stick onto the tissue paper. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> and then for Depop specifically, I was always feeling kind of badly and like weirdly awkward about it. Like with Depop, Sometimes I would write notes. Sometimes if someone sent like a really sweet message, I would write a little note or something, but we wanted to kind of like somehow personalize the Depop package instead of literally just putting a t-shirt in an envelope and being like, here you go. So Dan also took the same branding and got these little cards made. How cute is this? And then it's just a little thank you note with my signature saying, thank you for shopping my closet, which is so cute. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of just exciting to, yeah, just have a little personal touch on any of the giveaways that we're sending out from here on out. And also any of the packages that we're sending out through Depop. So we're just trying to make it a little bit, you know, just adding a little hint of spice. And then the other general things we need with Depop, I have a Sharpie to write all the things onto it. I've got a measuring tape, got to measure the boxes, scale, got to weigh the boxes, some tape. All this is gonna live here, along with our empty, ready-to-go boxes, and this is gonna be our little, this is our store. This is the store here in the corner. <laughs> and if you guys remember the vlog when I went <laughs> plant shopping, I had bought these in our old apartment and had some vines in here that did eventually die, RIP. Uh, and I, these have been sitting here, I have two of them, and they've just been holding nothing, just dust, collecting dust. And I figured this would actually be perfect to put just the miscellaneous things in. So I'm gonna put this on the top, like put the tape measure, tape, maybe the stamp, the Sharpie, just all that kind of stuff can live in that, which is perfect. I'm gonna put the scale here. Maybe I'll actually put these just in here too. Okay. <laughs> Dan located the rest of our stuff. These are some extra boxes that we have. And then this is our bag of poly mailers. And so those are gonna go down here. Whoop. I've got a little box of cards. We're still wanting to get some customized, like actual letter cards made for giveaways and stuff. But until then, just have that set. I'm pretty sure I got that on sale at Chapters, which was great. And more tape. <laughs> Rock on. Okay, so this looks great. <laughs> I'm so thrilled and I can't believe we haven't done this before. This would have made our lives so much more organized and delightful. So I kind of just moved the table off the side and stacked some of the boxes here because I imagine there's going to be more. And I feel like that's just better to hide the clutter from this side. And yeah, just some of the extra boxes in here, the bags, the tissue paper, and we have all this stuff that's kind of necessary for packing. Oh, yay, this corner is so much more <laughs> clean. <laughs> so basically, if anyone is curious of our process, now we, we pack everything up. I get everyone's address and shipping info and all that good stuff. And then I will weigh the box, pack it up, take the dimensions, write it down. And then we just have a website that we use on our computer and we actually bought, it's so key. If anyone ships multiple things and just wants to make your life easier, even if you just like shop a lot and return a lot of things and need to print a lot of like labels, we bought this little Dymo printer and it was such a blessing. You literally just print the label right to it and it's so easy. So I just take all the information down dan plugs it into the website and then the labels print and we literally just drop it off at the post office we use canada post which is definitely not the cheapest option to those of you who ever win giveaways or buy t-bop from europe <laughs> canada post does not make it uh 
a cheap endeavor, that's for sure, sometimes. Like, it's certain countries, right? Like, everyone has different shipping costs. It's so crazy. So in the future, if we continue to do, like, a lot more, we'll, we'll definitely try and, like, set something up. I know, like, some of the larger shippers, like FedEx and whatnot, they do pickup options, which would be amazing and just save us so much time. But even just pre-printing a label and just being able to drop it off at the post office makes such a difference. So that's been a big big game changer for us. So now that this is set up, I, I'm amazed at how quick that was actually. I thought for some reason I'd be in here a lot longer. <laughs> I'm gonna start packing up some giveaways and getting them ready to ship out. We're going to take them to the post office tomorrow. So I just wanna make sure that they're all good and packed, put them in my little Santa bag and have them ready for the post office tomorrow to get to you. Cue the packing time-lapse. <laughs> This was my attempt with the sticker. <laughs> ah, cute! <laughs> products are packed in the boxes, the notes are written, and now I just need to pack them up, weigh them, and write the dimensions on them so Dan can go get the addresses and get the uh, shipping label printed. All right guys, I finished, finished my packing for the day. Um, I need to, I need to deal with my nails before filming right now. Can you guys see, like does this show up in the camera? The the indents from my biogel oh, are just still so strong and I've kind of just been leaving my nails plain, giving them a break for a little bit, but I just can't have them this way in vids. So I'm gonna do some gel. I'm gonna attempt some gel. And I'm gonna do black in hopes that it'll cover <laughs> like the lines on my nails efficiently. And then once my nails are done, I can film today's video. So the nail setup I have, like I don't know if it's good. I don't know, but I've been trying to do my shellac at home while this lockdown is happening. And like last week or the week before, whenever it was, I ended up removing my nails, like gel nails three times because it kept on chipping. So obviously I'm doing something wrong or whatever this brand that I've bought is not good. I don't know. I have the Gelin, Gelin, this little guy right here. I have this base coat and top coat. The colors I have are this brand here. And this is what I got if you guys ever saw my my nail video from the first lockdown. Uh, these were the products that I had bought from that video and man, I don't know, if you guys do your own nails and you do shellac, I would love to hear what your favorites are. I'm still just using the gel because it's just harder for my nails. It's harder on my nails than regular polish and my nails are just so thin and they always have been. My nails have always been thin and brittle even when I wasn't attacking them with gel products. My nails are just really, they've just never been good and my mom was blessed with such healthy, thick, strong nails. I'm like, hello, why didn't you pass this on to me? Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint my nails and probably just put on an episode of Shit's Creek and uh, here we go. I've got my light, I attempted to prep my nails a little bit, but I am not claiming to be a nail professional. I'm just doing what I can while I have to be doing my nails at home. So here we are. <laughs> Uh, these are the nails. Um, my sneaky little <laughs> trick, if you will. I don't even know if you could call it a trick. Oh God, that looks terrible. It's okay when I'm using my dominant hand and painting my left hand, but when it comes to doing this hand, it's just, I just, I'm so bad at painting my own nails. That's just the long and short of it. And uh, yeah, I just try and go around after and like take a file and fix all of the spots where the paint like went around it just like this side is really bad up close but from far away i have some nails painted so this is exciting we'll see how long these last and while i was painting dan actually ordered us some food continuing our supporting local train thank you so much i know we're contributing to our economy we actually ordered from somewhere we've never tried before got some jerk chicken is that it right now? Did you hear that ding? Let's go see. Uh. The 
chicken was not a win. Oh my god, you guys. We've had a filming tragedy befall us. <laughs> this happens every once in a while to us. Usually only when we, uh, we're on a tight schedule and have lots to do, which, of course, is currently. I don't really understand it. Dan is definitely the man of the research and knowledge in this department, but basically, on our camera. Our camera is run by this thing right here. This is the ninja. This is the camera. And this is a ninja and this basically this little ninja allows you to film continuously it has like insane like you're essentially not recording onto the sd card in the camera you're recording into this massive pack that's in the ninja and allows you to record a much longer clip and then just has a lot more storage and as well you can apply your like color correcting LUTs onto it like on the ninja so we film our videos and i don't know the correct i don't know the actual term for it dan's gonna be like yes you do I can't remember it at this moment. Basically, we film our uh, video in gray so that you can color correct it after. And then, like, in the Ninja, we put our little LUT on it that puts our color. And uh, for some reason, our Ninja is just not connecting. And that's essentially how we have our entire setup. And Dan <laughs> spent, like, the last hour <laughs> trying to figure out what's wrong with it. He rebooted it. He was looking stuff up, and it's like... It's just saying, see you later. Um, and he is currently editing the video that's going up today. <laughs> to be honest, when we're on this kind of schedule, you just don't have time. Uh, you just don't have time for this kind of shit to happen, honestly. So we're both kind of at a loss of what to do right now. It's just, um, yeah, it's essentially just saying that the battery like memory pack isn't being recognized on it, even though we use it every day. It's so weird. It's so weird. Um, so I don't really know. <laughs> We're gonna give it a little bit more time. I, I did my hair and like put my eyebrows on and stuff to get ready to film the makeup look. And uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be happening tonight. So I might have to have a, an extra early morning tomorrow to make sure this video is, is filmed in time. So that's put a little damper on our evening, guys. Technical difficulties, ugh, just, just rains on our little parade here. It really does. <laughs> so we'll report back when we figure out what's up. <laughs> well, friends, today was a bust. Today's <laughs> getting ahead filming plans was a bust. Our technology has failed us today. Um, and tomorrow's gonna be, tomorrow's gonna be a tough one. Tomorrow's gonna be a long, a long tough day. Uh, but I wanted to end this vlog on a sweet little positive note and do our next giveaway. So today's giveaway is gonna go to one winner. Be sure to check the description box down below on how to enter. And today is gonna be the second of the beautiful Dior Rouge bags. Absolutely gorgeous lip set in here with the Dior makeup bag in this set. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got a Dior mascara, some of the beautiful like gold limited edition uh, lipsticks from their holiday set as well. We've got a Victoria Beckham. Oh, three of her lipsticks in here, they are so beautiful. And then this is also a set of their Augustinus Bader Priming Moisturizers. You have the golden and the regular in here. It's such a beautiful set, this thing. Oh my goodness. And then also my Nude Sticks Matinee to Soiree kit, all in this lovely little box. So if you want to enter to win today's giveaway, be sure to check the description box down below, you guys. A winner will be chosen in 24 hours and my posture is tragic. Even though the second half of today was a bust for us, I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of <laughs> taking a little sneak peek behind our little packing store here. And you know, half of the studio is officially cleaned up, which is very exciting. And this was just a good look at the behind the scenes of a, of a usual day, although usually the filming would be successful. So that's it for today's vlog, you guys. We hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!